boys and girls, and welcome back to Kids on the Living Edge. All right, this is week two of our new series, Subscribe Now. Now, we can subscribe to many different things. YouTube, we can subscribe to our favorite vlogger and follow really interesting people who do cool stuff like bake or cook or do crafts. All those things are super, super cool, right? I love following different people and learning new things. Well, you know, we've been talking about subscribing or following Jesus. We just celebrated Christmas and that's super cool. We saw Jesus, he was born as a baby, right? He grew up, but Jesus had a mission and that was to be the savior of the whole world. And John, his cousin, was encouraging people to follow Jesus, or we would say subscribe, but, G but John used the word follow. Can you say that boys and girls? Very good, follow. So we're gonna learn how John kept telling others about Jesus and how they could be baptized. All right, boys and girls, put on your big listening ears, your big learning hat, and your learning eyes, and let's watch today's story. for. It's short for video log or video blog. Vloggers make videos about all sorts of stuff. How to make stuff, what they think of a new toy, how to play a new game, and anything else they know a lot about. I don't know a lot, but I like talking about God, my family, and my friends like you. So make sure you subscribe to Callie's World. Today is an exciting day. I have my best outfit ready to go and the best gift picked out. Why am I so happy you might be asking? Today is my friend Ellie's birthday. The invitation says, <laughs> the party starts Saturday at 12 p.m. and now it's 11 a.m. Only one more hour to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have the day of the week and the time right, but the wrong date. I'm a week later. Her party was last week. I missed her part. Oh no, this feels awful. I feel like such a bad friend. I wonder if she will ever forgive me. Allie? Hi, Callie. Is everything okay? We missed you at the party. Allie, I mixed up the dates and I thought your party was today. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Callie. It's really not. Yes, it is. It's not, Allie. You're one of my best friends and I had your super secret slime gift ready to go. Oops, I ruined your surprise. I'm the worst friend ever. Whoa, Callie, calm down. You are not a bad friend. And I'm not mad. Why are you not mad, Allie? Well, I was a little sad you missed the party, but I know you. I knew you wouldn't miss it unless you had a good reason. You made an honest mistake. We all make mistakes. But we could all forgive each other, just like God forgives us. And that's today's Bible lesson. It's time for our Bible story. Today in our Bible story, John the Baptist introduces everyone to the Savior, Jesus. Oh wow, I'm guessing that was a big deal. You bet it was. Do you remember what John was doing? He was telling the people about Jesus. And? And baptizing them. You got it. John the Baptist baptized people in the river and taught about forgiveness. He taught people to say I'm sorry. Yes, John told people they needed to tell God that they were sorry for disobeying God. Just like water washes away dirt on the outside, God's forgiveness washes away sins on the inside. So John forgave everyone's sins? No, only God could forgive sins. All John could do was tell people how they could get ready in their hearts. John told the people that the Savior was going to be so much more powerful than he was. 
and the Savior could completely forgive sins. We're still talking about Jesus, right? Still Jesus. So when Jesus was ready to do the work God sent him to do, he started out by being baptized by John 2. But I thought Jesus was more powerful than John. That's what John said. John couldn't believe it. Jesus, the Son of God, who had no sin, wanting to be baptized by him? But Jesus did it because he wanted to obey God. He knew it's what God wanted. That's so cool. When John baptized Jesus, the sky opened up and God spoke and said, You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Wow. When that happened, the people knew that Jesus was God's son and he had come to save everyone. The Savior who could forgive sins was finally here. God sent Jesus to earth to forgive everyone's sins. He even got baptized, even though he had no sin, just to show us the way. God forgave all the sins of the world through Jesus so that we can learn to forgive each other. That's so true. Jesus is the one that taught us to forgive. I'm so thankful I have such an understanding friend like you. You know I would always forgive you too, right? Yep, I know that. I love you and love our friendship. I'm not perfect and you aren't. None of us are. So it was a mistake and I forgive you. See, we can learn to forgive each other through Jesus. I like that. Can I come over now and give you your gift? A uh, hundred percent, yes, I insist. I'm on my way. See you in 10 minutes. Can't wait. So friends, I gotta run. I'm really glad Allie forgave me. Have you ever said something or done something that you didn't mean to do? Did you say you were sorry? Did they forgive you? Jesus is so forgiving, and I really love that we can forgive each other too. Love you, friends. Thanks for tuning in today and growing with me. Peace. Wow, that was a great story. You know, uh, Jesus allowed John to baptize him, not because Jesus needed forgiveness, but he wanted to show that he was gonna offer all of us forgiveness. You know, Callie felt pretty bad because she forgot her friend's birthday party. And I know I feel bad when I forget stuff. I know you probably feel that way too. But you know, her friend didn't get angry and not talk to Callie anymore. She forgave her. You know, boys and girls, that's why Jesus came. He wanted us to know that God the Father wants to forgive us. You know, Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen my Father, and the Father is good. And Jesus shows us that we can be forgiven. You know, our big idea of today is we know forgiveness because of Jesus. If it weren't for Jesus, we wouldn't know the forgiveness of God. But because of Jesus, we know God's forgiveness. You know, our Bible verse, our memory verse is, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's found in John 14, 6. Jesus is the way to God, the Father. You know, that's someone I wanna follow. That's someone I wanna subscribe to because when we follow Jesus, he changes our hearts. He forgives us. Girls and boys, it is always so great to be with you. You know what? Let's pray. Can you pray with me? Here we go. Father, thank you that Jesus is the only way to you. Thank you for giving me the power to follow him. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Well, boys and girls, I'm so glad to be with you today. You know, remember, we can subscribe to a lot of things, but don't quit following Jesus. He's going to change your heart and change your life. All right, boys and girls, we love you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.